hello welcome back today i decided to show you something very interesting and it's gonna be a um, basket uh, made out of the dough this can be for your centerpiece uh, filled with beautiful rolls or breadsticks uh, you can impress your family and friends bringing it as a gift and let's get started And here we go. I have my dough um, already risen. I will include ingredients in the description below. Um, I already showed you so many times how I make the dough from scratch. And um, today, since I'm making a basket and it takes a little bit of time, I actually uh, have my dough proofed already. So, that way it's easier for me and my boys are home and I want to spend some time um, with my boys so we don't have to rush and let's get started. I divided um, my dough and I will start with the first piece uh, here and we're going to stretch. We're going to stretch the dough. So we can basically um, start making the basket. And now we're gonna stretch the dough and start uh, with our dough basket. I made this uh, basket before. It's uh, before I had a YouTube channel. So I never showed you how I make it. I said what a wonderful time um, to show you this um, very decorative uh, basket. I um, stretched my dough into rectangular, so you can do that if possible, just a rectangular shape. I have um, my uh, baking dish it's a uh, cast iron and you can use any baking dish that's uh, that you're gonna be able to uh, place into your oven so what i'm gonna do right now <clears throat> and the next thing I'm, what i'm gonna do is cover my uh, baking dish with parchment paper so let's do that and here we go i'm gonna go ahead and cut the strips um, we will cut them a uh, long way, like this. Um, you can make them like as wide as this you would like, uh, like uh, one inch or less, or depends. Um, how thick you would like them, I mean how thin or uh, you would like them to be. And I have my um, baking dish here covered with the parchment. I mean, you can use um, foil. Then foil, you have to actually, um, if you use foil, you have to use butter and butter very well so it doesn't stick to your basket dough once it's baked. So that way, I prefer to use the parchment. It is very tricky to put it over. I use two papers, one long way on this side and one the other way um, I didn't show it on camera it's very noisy so you just have to cover the dish and now we're gonna start uh, with our uh, basket building the strips so you put few like going that way across I will put, um, let's see, I'm going to use five, five for the bottom, just like that. And then what we're going to do uh, with this one, we have to um, lift 
and place it over the same like we are doing for the apple um apple lettuce pie you have to do the same for this type of a basket too so you basically place it on and then you lift place over it goes under and over and you continue just like that and now i will be stretching my um second uh, piece of dough i will be stretching same way so i can go ahead and finish uh, the whole basket there and then then we'll uh, have to do the decoration as well and here we go now i'm gonna do the same i will go ahead and cut the strips so i can finish uh, all around basically building my um, beautiful basket and then we will do nice um, decoration it's a little bit tricky for me because i have to move i have to have my dough in front of me and uh, and then i have to um as you see place it on here but that's okay it will work And then I have to um, place one here on the side as well. There we go. Just like that. Now I'm gonna use the knife and cut um, all this extra dough. As you can see, all this extra dough on the side. And now it's time for the decorative part. So I'm gonna move this on the side and from my remaining dough I'm gonna make some decorative uh, parts right here. Um, this does take a little bit of patience but it's very worth on the end. I, I know when I uh, made my first uh, dough basket everyone was impressed so it's really um, beautiful and i think you definitely should try it and make one and i'm stretching this dough now because i want to make a braid all around the edge so we will make a braid that's my oven preheating at 425. I will let you know how long it baked and then what temperature as well. I'm gonna make a braid right now and place it around the edge. I already showed you how I make a braid. There is a video on my um, channel how I make uh, braided bread rolls or braided bread and you can check that as well you take three strips and you just um, go over under and make a beautiful braid there we go and that's uh, that's how I'm gonna continue and play basically this is how we're gonna place 
the braid will go around right here all around and right now that we have uh, finished our edge I'm gonna go ahead and um, make beautiful handles we're gonna twist the dough just like that and then do the same with the other one just twisting the dough as much as you can and then we'll uh, twist them together just like that and I'm gonna go ahead and place it right there as you can see just like that I'm not gonna cut anything so I'll just place it just like that and hopefully when it's baked we can take this off easily so don't press too hard um, on your dough same thing I'm gonna do on the other side as well okay so now that uh, everything is done let's uh, make a few decorative leaves I'm gonna just cut it with my knife and just um, you know I'll just go ahead and cut it with the knife make it look like a leaf and place it onto the basket there we go and um, you can just uh, make as many as you would like you know so it looks very pretty and decorative once it's baked there we go and there we are it's beautiful I want to show you from the close-up here we go it's beautiful and this is from the other side and now it's gonna go and bake and I'll see you later Wow look at this beautiful basket it's baked yes it looks gorgeous um, it was baking um, for about 35 minutes and um, it looks wonderful as you can see I love how everything is so nice and baked I mean it's um, very warm look at this beauty it's gorgeous It looks so beautiful I'm gonna go ahead and melt some butter and brush and then I will let it cool and then I will take it out um, I'm hoping that I will be able to lift the basket without breaking and um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and bake some rolls and then uh, fill them in my basket so this is uh, another beautiful um, decorative centerpiece uh, for your uh, beautiful dinner or a, you know party holiday party anything you would like and as well as gift so you can share and um, it's uh, not that hard it's easy it just takes a little bit of patience but it's definitely beautiful beautiful um, I'm gonna fill this basket with rolls and um, this is gonna be a gift so it's so beautiful I love it and you can see the detailed um, all the detailed leaves and those beautiful handles on the side everything stayed um, and it looks gorgeous 
Ta-da! It's beautiful. Look at this beautiful basket. I have to show you from the close-up all the details, all the leaves. There we go. It's perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill this beautiful basket with the rolls and um, it's gonna be gorgeous gorgeous gift thank you so much for watching i will see you next time and i will definitely include uh, pictures of with the rolls inside and um, i wanted to share another uh, beautiful decorative um, and creative recipe with you so um, i hope you enjoy it thank you and have a wonderful day and this is from the close-up it looks beautiful as you can see all the details here we go this is how it looks like inside it's baked and done it's gorgeous.